Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an Abaya collection video. I wouldn't really categorize my channel as being a fashion channel. Um, my channel is, is more of a faith-based channel and um, I really do try to focus on self-improvement, things like that. For me, transforming my wardrobe into being a more modest wardrobe was a way for me to improve myself and I've been slowly, slowly transforming my wardrobe from less modest kind of when I was in high school to more modest kind of what it is now. And of course there's still more changes I could make. It's always a process to like, you know, kind of if you have a goal of being modest or if you have a goal of like changing your wardrobe to being a certain way, it's gonna take time and it's constantly gonna be a progression and you trying to improve on whatever whatever goal you're trying to reach. I wanted to make this video to kind of give people inspiration of ways that they can dress modestly and especially during the month of Ramadan and Naid is just around the corner. So I thought I would just give people some inspiration for things that they could wear during this month, things that they could wear during Eid. Um, I know this Eid, the Eid coming at the end of Ramadan, a lot of people will probably still be at home, but you can always dress up at home still, even for dinner with family or something like that. Just just to give you guys ways that you can style abayas if you have them or even style just like you know long dresses modest outfits uh, i just wanted to give some some ideas for things that you can do so i hope you find this video useful and don't forget to leave in the comments if you like this kind of video if you want to see more fashion based videos so i hope you guys enjoy all right guys so during this video i'm going to be giving some commentary so a lot of these abayas I did not buy from online or any place that I think other people could buy them from. This particular abaya was bought here in Lebanon at just a store here, so I don't think there are a lot of replicas. Now this abaya here was bought in Philadelphia, PA, at a store called Tuba. It's an Islamic store. If you look it up on Google, you can probably find it. And yeah, so I paired it with an orange hijab and a green skirt underneath just as accents. Yeah, the orange hijab in this outfit is bought from AliExpress. There is a deal on AliExpress where you can buy 10 of these hijabs for $3 a piece, so it's definitely a deal I would recommend. This particular abaya came with a belt, um, but I think I left that belt in the US before I moved, so I just put a random other belt with it. But yeah, it's just another way you can style it. So this black piece here, was, it's not an abaya, but it was it's kind of like a dress piece and it was bought from Forever 21, as was the skirt. If I can find links to them or something similar, I'll leave them in the description box. The hijab was just a gift that my husband got me from Lebanon, so not something I have a link for. So this abaya that I have on top here is from a website called Urban Modesty and I'll leave a link to it if I can find one. The top that I'm wearing under the abaya is from Forever 21 as well and the skirt is from a website called Modenisa. Um, in this look, I styled the hijab a little bit differently, a little bit more flowy. <laughs> This abaya here was something that was custom made for me in Lebanon, so it's not something I have a link to, but it's a style that is fairly common, so I'm sure you could find it on other websites that sell abayas. Um, it has an optional drawstring as well, which I show in a second. So that kind of just cinches in the waist if that's the look that you're going for. I'm not exactly sure where I got the hijab from, to be honest, so I don't have a link for that. This abaya here was gifted to me from my mother when she went on Hajj this past summer in Saudi Arabia, so it was bought at a random store, I'm not really sure where, and the hijab was also bought from Saudi Arabia. And also, sorry, side note, but this 
frame is a little bit crooked. I think the camera slipped to the side, so if it looks a little crazy, that's why. <laughs> Also, as you can see here, this abaya comes with a belt, so if you want to have that cinch and look, that's an option as well. I like abayas that kind of come with both of those options. So this is the last of the looks that I'm going to be showing. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!